Back to our News for Jack's I team investigation involving new documents shedding light on dozens of flights through Jacksonville, which Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says are carrying migrants. I team investigator Vic Michelucci joins us with records we just obtained from state law enforcement. These charter flights have been coming and going from JAX for months, usually at night. So we pulled the documents of chartered planes possibly carrying migrants landing here and found dozens over the past six months. These pictures from local photographer David Rosenblum show a chartered flight offloading migrants into vans and buses at Jacksonville International Airport. It's reckless uh, and it's wrong. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis claims the Biden administration is moving migrants across the country under a veil of secrecy. So these are middle of the night flights, no, no notification to the state or anybody. Uh, and this is not the way uh, you keep people safe. It's reckless uh, and it's wrong. DeSantis says he's working with the legislature to stop these flights, and he points to the case of a Honduran migrant who posed as a teenager at the border and was put on a flight to Jacksonville in August. Police say after arriving, Yeri Medina Uloa killed a father of four in Arlington last month. We obtained flight records from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, which the governor asked to investigate these flights. A spokeswoman saying FDLE developed a reliable and confidential source who provided information about numerous flights coming into Jacksonville. She went on to say they were transporting what was believed to be potential illegal immigrants. These records show 77 chartered flights that landed in Jacksonville from all over, but most frequently Texas including places like Houston and El Paso. The date range is from April 22nd to October the 6th. One flight had as many as 180 passengers on board, although the number of people on most flights is listed as unknown. Not all of the records make sense, however. One Army flight came from Ireland, for example. Another is a National Guard flight from Norfolk. We've asked the state to clarify. It's absolutely unacceptable. It's a complete national security threat, as well as a threat to our local communities if we have no idea who is coming, because quite frankly, there's been no vetting, there's been no identification, and that's a problem. Republican Congresswoman Kat Kamick, who's on the House Homeland Security Committee, says the government is doing this without even briefing lawmakers. So you as a member of Congress do not know where these migrants are heading? No, we have sent congressional inquiry after congressional inquiry. What do you do with all of these people? Obviously, there's not enough room along the southern border. Well, quite frankly, the administration needs to stop inviting them to come here. When you have a reconciliation bill this week that we're going to be voting on that grants mass amnesty for people who come here illegally, that's a magnet. We reached out to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, which is running flights for unaccompanied migrant children. A spokesperson there telling us it is our legal responsibility to safely care for unaccompanied children until they can be swiftly unified with a parent or a vetted sponsor. They added they use air and ground transportation, quote, taking into account child safety and wellness, travel time and cost effectiveness. Now, these records do not show where these migrant passengers are heading once they get into buses and vans. Meanwhile, Florida's Attorney General Ashley Moody has teamed up with the governor to sue the Biden administration, claiming relocating migrants to Florida is illegal. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Vic. Now, we've reached out to Congressman Al Lawson, a Democrat, for his take on the flights. He sent us a statement. It reads in part, these flights allow our country to do what is morally right. We are building an immigration system based on humanity and working to keep families together, process asylum claims quickly, and help unaccompanied minors get placed with loving, caring, and safe relatives as fast as possible. We're also waiting for more detailed documents from the state of Florida.